Okay, let's go ahead and get the Arduino IDE configured for use with the Rambo. First thing we want to do is identify what serial port the Rambo identifies as. In order to do that, go ahead and bring up your device manager and look for something that looks like this. It will say USB serial device, COM4, or another COM number. It also may identify as an actual Rambo board, depending on what driver you install. So now that we know what port it is, let's tell the IDE. Click on Tools, Port, and select COM4, or whatever port you're using. Next, click Tools, Board, and choose the Genuine or Arduino Genuine Omega or Mega 2560. This lets the IDE know what code to generate when it's compiling the program. Now we need to clear the EEPROM on the Rambo to make sure that it's all ready for us to use. So go ahead and click on File, Examples, down to EEPROM, and then EEPROM Clear. It'll load the program. There's nothing you need to change. Just click the Upload button, and it will compile the program and upload it directly to the Rambo. When it's done uploading, you should see no error messages. Now it's time to load the firmware. Click on File, Open, and since I've done this previously, it defaulted to the last directory I used. However, you'll need to choose the directory where it is. If you unpacked it straight from the website, it'll be under Firmware Master, Repetier Firmware, Repetier. You want to choose the repetier.ino file. If you don't show extensions, you'll just see repetier here with the Arduino Infinity logo. Click on that and click open. Go ahead and we'll make the window a little bit larger so you can see it more easily. Click on configuration.h and scroll down a little bit. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the motherboard is set to 301. This identifies it as a Rambo as opposed to a Rambo Mini. Next, you want to set the printer value to 5 because that matches the configuration for the Rostock Max V3. If you need to change something, make your change and click Save. Now, click on the Upload key. The software will be compiled and it may take a minute or two to compile it and upload it. When the upload is complete, it should say done uploading here, so let's just give it a shot and wait for it. Note that this low memory available is not a problem, and it will not affect the operation of the printer. And there we go, the upload is complete and your printer is ready to use. Now we can move on to the task of calibrating your printer.